Hey guys, it's Pucks Pro. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Fallout 76 um, Season 2. Uh, right now we have the roadmap pulled up from the Bethesda website and we pretty much already got most if not all the summer content. I believe we're still waiting on legendary perks. But after the legendary perks come out, um, we're going to be pretty much going into the fall content which is Steel Dawn quest lines and daily ops. Daily ops sounds really cool. There's going to be a new Season 2 scoreboard with a bunch of new rewards and we're going to go ahead and go over all the information. Pretty much I'm going making this video because Bethesda just released a lot of information on, on like what's happening in Season 2 and some content that they're bringing in. So I figured I'd make a video. Um, and then there's also this bomb drop event. Um, in terms of the bomb drop event, Steel Dawn and Daily Ops, I don't think they've released a lot of official information but we'll go ahead and find out in the next page here. So first, um, I actually wanted to, to go over the Season 2 scoreboard. So this is pretty much, I'll have links to all of this in the description and um, any other information I think may be good, I'll go ahead and put in the description as well. But just like the other scoreboard, this one is Armor, Ace, and the Power Patrol. I really like Power Armor, so that's a cool looking Power Armor right there. And um, so yeah, you earn score, you rank up, um, and then you unlock rewards. That's pretty similar to the same format of the season one scoreboard uh, that's currently still going on. So rank reward from one to 10. So here we got the armor, ace, player icon. We got a health kit box, um, military footlocker stash box. That's actually pretty neat. I like new stash box. A weight bench. Um, and this you can actually like interact with, you know, with the iron. <laughs> <laughs> Red Viper wood armor paint, um, lunch boxes are always cool, wooden log door, and another medium uh, vault tech supply package, and then 150 atoms. At levels 11 through 20, you get 2,500 caps. That's not too bad. Uh, Red, Red Viper leather armor paint, large vault tech supply package, a um, brick houses armor ace paint pump action shotgun skin, a perk card pack, um, legendary script, 50 of it, three lunch boxes, uh, armor, ace, power, armor, T45 paint. Ooh, it's blue. I like blue and I like power armor, so I don't use T45 and I don't think I, don't think I ever will, but I think there might be some more of these in, in the next levels. Let's see. Uh, ship in a bottle. Oh, it's kind of neat. I'm guessing that's just like a um, a camp decor um, and 150 atoms from rank 20. Then we got 21 to 30. We got 50 gold bullion, red viper metal armor paint. Looks like communist armor. <laughs> um, rad kit, armor ace photo mode frame, vault tech foosball uh, foosball table, and the prick pack. Um, three lunch boxes, another blue power armor T51. That does look good. It's like a matte blue. I I, I dig it. Vintage and Yuka Shine at times 12, 150 atoms. 31 through 40, we have 2,500 caps again. An officer's gas mask. Wow, it's like a skull with an officer hat built in with a, with like a gas. That, that, that looks pretty cool. Scrap kit times three. I've actually never seen these before. When you can't make it back to your camp, a scrap kit can scrap all your junk and then send it directly to your stash. Wow, okay. I don't know if this is new, but if it is, that's pretty cool. Subjugator player icon, perk card pack, legendary script times 100, lunchbox times 3, armor ace power, armor excavator paints. This one doesn't look as blue, but maybe it is a bit matte blue, I don't know. <clears throat> Lots of cool power armor uh, paints. Army base floor and foundations. That is really nice because right now I only have the standard wood and uh, <laughs> I don't know. I just wish I had something more, but I haven't bought anything from the Adam shop yet to change that. So this is, this could be like, you know, a nice alternative, like a metallic floor. Um, 150 atoms as rank 40. Then we go to 41 to 50. We've got nuke key cards times five. So I guess that'll just speed up launching in a nuke. I've actually never launched nukes, I don't really know the significance of a nuke key card, but I imagine you need one key card per one nuke. Um, either way, I'm sure that's pretty good. Rank 43, basic repair kits times three. I see no avail uh, I see no evil pose. Perk card pack, red viper fatigues, three lunch boxes, armor ace power, um, armor T60 paint. Very nice looking. Um, 150 atoms, and then West Virginia electric train set. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I think that's gonna be really cool. There's actually a bigger image of this, I think, on the other web page that I'll go ahead and go over as well. 
Rank 51, you get 150 atoms, then you get gold boolean times 50. Then you get red viper combat armor paint, watching you emote. <laughs> and then perk card times one, and then armor ace wallpaper. Lunchbox times three, armor ace uh, x01 power armor paint, pretty nice. Uh, rust bucket hammer, super for the super sledge, um, 150 atoms. 61 to 70, we have 250 legendary script, red viper uh, scout armor paint, six scrap kits. Um, that's pretty nice. I hear no evil pose. Uh, perk park, wait, no evil pose. Is this one? I see no evil pose. And this one's I hear no evil pose. Okay. Brick card pack times one, brick house player icon, three lunch boxes. Um, armor Ace Ultra Sight Power Armor Paint. Um, armor Ace Laser Shooting Gallery. That's really cool. Um, there's also a bigger picture of this that I'll go ahead and show on the next webpage. And then 150 atoms. Then we have a level 71 to 80. Rank 71, rank 72. Gold Boolean times 100. A red Viper Marine Armor Paint. Basic Repair Kits times 6. Um, Power Patrol Player Icon. Okay. Import Cards times 2. Brotherhood of Steel Field Station. Keep it on. Just here. Wasteland, but there's. That's really cool. I'm guessing this is like a camp building, similar to like the communist bunker at right now. Something you can kind of just place down that's already put together. Um, lunchbox times three. Armor Ace Power Armor Plant for the T65. Yeah. I eventually need. Right now, I'm, I'm rocking some excavator power armor, but I think I need like combat power armor. So I might need to get T51 just because it's the easiest to obtain eventually make my way to t65 because i believe t65 is the best power armor in the game currently um with overall stats but pretty pricey pretty pricey to get i think you need a lot of boolean to actually get it um to get the plans to craft it um red viper skin handmade rifle and then 150 atoms are rank 80. we go over to 81 and 90 81 to 90 uh legendary script times 250, Red Viper Secret Service Armor, Crap Kits times 15, I Speak No Evil Pose, um, Perk Card Pack times 2, Armor Ace Backpack Lunchbox times 6, Armor Ace Jetpack, Mind Blown Emo, <laughs> oh my goodness, 150 items. Then we have Rank 91, 1099, you get 100 Gold Boolean, a Tank Helmet, Basic Repair Kits times 15, Special Issue Goss Pistol Paint. Okay. Perk cards times three. Subjugator mask. Lunchbox times nine. And the subjugator outfit. And then a greenhouse set. Wow. A greenhouse set would be really cool, actually. But that's rank 99. Then we're at rank 100. You got these items right here. Armor Ace Eagle Stain. Stein. Stein. I think Stein. Rank 100, 500 atoms. You get the Armor Ace game board, which I think you can put up on your camp. It's like a picture frame, I think. Not really sure. Um, Ace Full Assault player icon. An Ace Full Assault power armor paint. Oh, you actually get like his power armor paint. I'm not sure what power armor this paint applies to because it doesn't specify. But let's go ahead and go down to the common questions here in FAQ. Um, let's see if any of this is relevant. Um, I guess you can boost yourself through the ranks at the very beginning. Um, is another change. Using atoms. Um, new dailies, including daily ops. So there's gonna be some new challenges and daily ops will also be incorporated quite shortly here. And for those of you who don't really know what daily ops is, it's pretty much like, uh, daily operations where it's like a daily dungeon that you can do and it's repeatable you can do it with a uh, solo or with a team i think it's probably best with the team though and from what i've seen so far the dungeon usually has a theme and some sort of objective that you kind of go through and complete and the enemies will be like unique in some way or there'll be like some sort of theme to the theme to the dungeon and i guess they'll have challenges to give you score that go along with daily ops which is really nice and weekly challenges are to provide some more flexibility so that you can rank up on your own schedules because I know a complaint um, of the current score system is like you have to pretty much play every day if you want to get it vanilla. Um, that's just what I've seen on Reddit. I don't know, you know th how true that is. Personally, I don't think I play every day, but I'm only around, I think, like score 30 something. Um, but I think I joined or I started playing Fallout 76 again 
like midway or during this season already so you didn't really get the full season duration and adding newer utility items lunch boxes ammo converters and chicken coop to the gold boolean store so you can buy more things with gold boolean um and you, i guess you can grab it if you didn't unlock them during season one so they kind of give you a chance that's pretty nice in future seasons so not in season two but in future seasons they plan to add some other methods as well of gaining score um, such as through repeatable content. I'm guessing eventually they might, well, they do have daily ops as repeatable content. Um, and maybe with expeditions in the future, and they're gonna add new daily ops here. I'm guessing maybe maybe in season three, they're gonna have, um, have that give you score, maybe. How long will ranking up take? Each rank up should take between 1 and 2 hours of playtime, with earlier ranks taking closer to 1 hour and later ranks nearing 2. So if we were to average that at 1.5 hours for each rank, there's 100 of them. <laughs> so let's punch the numbers here. So it should take you about 150 hours of gameplay. According to this Q and A, um, to reach from zero to hundred without boosting with atoms, mm, in the new system, you get less atoms, but you'll still earn some as you increase your rank season. Rank. So I think they made it so that instead of getting a lot of atoms, or um, yeah, instead of getting a lot of atoms by playing, you now get less atoms while playing but more cosmetics because of the scoreboard because like as you play you'll be completing the scoreboard and that's how they kind of like balancing it i don't know i kind of like getting a lot of atoms because it allowed me it allowed me to choose what i wanted because not everybody's gonna like everything in the scoreboard so with a lot of atoms i was able to you know like kind of see what's on sale on in the, in the atomic shop that they update um and just like purchase things i like but i think you're gonna be able to you're not gonna be able to do that as often and you're gonna have to rely more on the free stuff from the scoreboard so overall i don't know if i like that really much um it's like you technically get more free stuff but you also lose a bit of of choice 150 atoms per rank so times 100 you need 1500 atoms to, to boost yourself from zero to 100 rank per rank to follow out first members receive additional benefits we may add extra uh, Fallout First bonus rewards in the future, but want to focus on getting seasons in the game first and seeing your thoughts. So that might be a future season thing, adding uh, exclusive rewards for members. Alright, and so that's pretty much the Fallout 76 Season 2 scoreboard, and now we're going to go ahead and go over some of the other details. So right here we have the Fallout 76 Inside the Vault Season 2 review, new scoreboard rewards, and more. So currently they're planning uh, to release update 22 on September 15th, which is coming up pretty soon. And so they're gonna have things like One Wasteland. One Wasteland is pretty much a, I would say, it's like a, a, a damage balance overhaul. Some features that I've heard, I don't know if it's official yet, but um, pretty much they're nerfing damage across the board. And it's pretty much gonna make the game overall a bit more challenging. Instead of like walking around one-shotting everything, uh, things will be more leveled to players um, and enemies will be a bit tougher. I think some er enemies will be even higher level in different areas, but generally they're going to be more leveled to you and you're going to be dealing less damage to them, um, to my understanding. So One Wasteland's kind of like to try and balance it, but yeah, I don't know too much about One Wasteland quite yet. Daily Ops, um, pretty much going to be daily dungeon missions that you can run, and then they have the legendary perks that they're going to be doing, and... Uh, yeah, I think I might make a separate video explaining all this, either that or I'll look into it and add it into this video, we'll see. And this is pretty much what the Season 2 scoreboard is going to look like. The theme is Armor and Ace, or Armor Ace, um, so it's going to kind of look like this. And Season 2 will last for 10 weeks. Yeah, so right here, I might have already mentioned this before, but pretty much they're implementing new dailies and weeklies, um, like daily op theme challenges. They want to pretty much offer more variety and more ways to progress in the season. And they also listen to player feedback from season one that, you know, they don't want to have to play every day. Um, they kind of want to play, you know, when they want in order and, and still be able to kind of progress um, through the scoreboard. And so they're going to be trying to add more weekly, uh, weekly challenges to the lineup so players still have like a chance uh, and flexibility to rank up on their own schedules. I think that's a really nice implementation. 
These are some of the pictures of the unlockables from season two. The greenhouse and all of this, pretty nice. This is the train set. And they say right here, perk card packs will also come in handy for those of you who plan to equip and upgrade legendary perks after update 22 arrives. Yeah, so right now the double score event um, is on September 1st and ends on September 8th. So if you need to catch up, now's the time. And if the community contributes enough supplies, everyone will unlock the final two fortifying, fortifying atlas rewards. 50% off legendary sale event from the Purveyor. So pretty much um, legendary items, like save your script guys, because it's going to be 50% off. And a second round of meat week. And these are the dates um, for the events. So deliver cloth, deliver glass, um, deliver leather. And then uh, September 10th to 14, we have the 50% off. And then we have Meat Week, a second helping. I wish they did Meat Week first and then the legendary script vendor 50% off because you get script from partaking in Meat Week and then you could use it in the legendary vendor 50% off. But it's, uh, yeah, they did Meat Week after. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for today, guys. So I hope you enjoyed. As more information comes out about the One Wasteland and the legendary cards and um, some of the other stuff coming out in Season 2, I'll probably make a video on that too. But this is pretty much what we got for now. And um, if I miss anything, please let me know in the comment section below. If you got any feedback from me, let me know as well, um, whether you liked or disliked the video. That way I can improve. Um, but yeah, until next time.